another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Today, I want to talk about something that is not really in my watch collecting philosophy, and that is I'm considering selling a few pieces in my collection. Now, of course, uh, I'm going to get about that in depth, and I'm going to tell you why I'm considering selling them, and really, I'm looking for your guys' opinions to see if I'm making the right move. Uh, but of course, before we get started, today I'm wearing the Panerai Radio Mirror, uh, the Black Seal. I love this watch. This watch is not being sold. It is my most beloved Panerai in my collection, even though I don't really wear it that often, mainly due to the alligator strap and the Florida weather. And of course, I also wanted to let you guys know that on Delray Watch Supply, my website, delraywatch.com, where I sell pre-owned watches, I just got in a white dial Polar Explorer 2 40 millimeter. I'm sure a lot of you guys would want to know uh, when that comes in. And not only that, but we have a killer deal on an Omega Planet Ocean right now. So go check out the Explorer 2, the Omega Planet Ocean, and of course, the Hoyer Altavia reissue. One of this year's best releases, or rather last year's best releases out there, are all available on DelrayWatch.com. Link in the description below. As well, I wanted to thank all you guys for the great support I got on my live stream um, that I did with Theo and Harris, Christian of Theo and Harris, on uh, Friday. You guys know I'm not really a live streamer, but you guys really, really enjoyed it, or at least it seemed like you did. And we had over 450 viewers con concurrent at one time. And this is kind of making me think I should live stream a little bit more often, maybe a couple times a month. Guys, let me know if that's something you would want me to do, to schedule a couple of live streams a month where you guys can come into the chat and participate. If there's a lot of interest in it, I'm more than happy to, to try it out, even though it's, uh, gonna be honest, a little bit outside my comfort zone. Because see, in these videos, I can edit. In fact, I just put a cut right there because I was mumbling. <laughs> But anyway, guys, back to the subject of this video. Well, you guys have seen my State of the Collection video. It's about a year and a half old at this point. And the truth is, not a lot has changed since then. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to put a link, uh, you know, right up here so you guys can go click on it. Um, but I was kind of looking at my collection and I realized a few things. Firstly, I don't really have a bracelet watch apart from my Seiko SKX. Well, my Omega, theoretically, my Omega Speedmaster can go on a bracelet, but uh, I don't really like the bracelet on that piece, and I did sell my Seamaster. So this is, unfortunately, my only bracelet watch, but you guys really know I love it, even though the really chintzy bracelet, but regardless, I love this watch. However, you know, being in Florida, even though my preference is alligator straps, being in Florida, that's just not really a thing, because it's just too hot, it's too sweaty, straps are three, four, five hundred dollars, and I can, you know, they barely last six months down here, so I was thinking I need an everyday watch on a bracelet. Yes, I will still keep wearing my Seiko but the truth is, guys, I feel like I'm at the point in my collecting where I don't want to say I deserve, but I want a higher-end luxury wristwatch on a bracelet. So that's what I thought. And then I was looking at my collection, and I thought, but I already have so many sports watches. I don't want to add just another watch on a bracelet to the collection because something else isn't going to get wrist time. So then I started thinking, even though I've said it many times on this channel, I don't really flip my personal collection, which is funny because I run a business where I sell watches, <clears throat> but my personal collection, I don't really flip. However, I have made the decision to sell a couple of pieces, simply because I don't think they're getting enough wrist time, and also because, you know, as collectors, we evolve, and it might be time for me to move these pieces along because I just, I don't love them as much as I used to. Now, I haven't made 100% the decision to sell these pieces, so if you guys want to buy them, please don't reach out to me. I have not decided yet if I'm actually going to sell them, but I didn't want to share what I think I will sell. And firstly is the Breitling Chronomat Evolution. 
<sighs> Here's the thing. I hate Breitling bracelets. Um, and this is just another leather-strapped sports watch. I don't really want to sell it because these don't fetch too much money, to be honest with you. And I feel like for what I'm going to sell it, it is one hell of a watch. So I... <sighs> I don't know if it's worth it, but the truth is, I just don't wear it enough. I mean, I love this watch. I love the panda dial. I love the high-polished case. So much about this watch is Federico. And now that I'm kind of looking at it, I don't even want to sell it. But the truth is, it just doesn't get enough wrist time. And now this second watch, and there's these are the two watches I'm considering selling, is probably going to shock you the most. And that is the Panerai Pam 111, but Federico, you love Panerai, I know I do, but I own three of them, I own the 111, I own the Radio Mirror, and I own the Daylight, now everybody has probably heard me say the Daylight is my least favorite, and yes, traditionally it probably is my least favorite, but here's the thing, the 111 is so easily replaceable down the line, if I sell it and regret it, I can get one immediately. Now, the Radio Mirror never came into consideration because it is my favorite Panerai. Um, I prefer the Radio Mirror way over the Luminor, but the truth is, I've owned this watch for seven or eight years, and it was my grail watch at one point. It really was, but this is what happens when you collect watches. You evolve, and I just... I just don't love it. I, 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 mean, I mean, I do love it. I'm just not in love with it anymore, if it makes sense. So I'm thinking of moving these two pieces and getting a high-end sports watch on a bracelet. Now, no, I'm not going to tell you what I'm buying on the bracelet yet. Uh, there's a couple of pieces I'm deciding between, uh, and I want to keep the suspense going. So I'm not letting you guys know yet, but essentially... I have come to the conclusion that especially, even though I'm 100% a strap guy living in a climate like Miami, everybody needs a bracelet sports watch. And even though I love the Seiko, it's just, you know, even this watch, it's, it's great. I just, I want something higher end. It's, I mean, I don't need it. Of course I don't need it. But I want it, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So here it is, guys. Federico... The self-proclaimed non-flipper not only wants to sell two watches of his collection, but probably wants to sell the most iconic Panerai in the collection as well. I don't know, man. Uh, it, things are going a little crazy. But let me know what you guys think. I mean, I just feel guilty. I mean, I could keep these pieces. I can afford the bracelet piece without selling anything. But what's the point of having watches in your watch box if you're not going to wear them? It just it just seems wasteful to me. Guys, let me know what you think. I'd love to get your opinion. Panerai, Breitling, keep them, sell them, what would you do? Also, please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. It really does help. And let me know if you want me to keep live streaming in the comments section below. And of course, subscribe so when I do make an ass out of myself live on the interwebs, you guys won't miss it. Also, as I said, please go check, uh, check out Delray Watch Supply, delraywatch.com. Link in the description below for some great deals on pre-owned watches. Guys, I'm having a real dilemma here. Please let me know what you would do. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.